In this session, you'll learn how to understand the user interface. You'll see where the event library is, where the viewer is, and see the project area, including the project library and the timeline. You will create a new event and prepare to import from a file or from your camera. In order to understand how to use Final Cut, it's going to be important for you to know what you are seeing in the user interface. So this is to cover the event library. It will cover the basic use of the event library. It will also look at the viewer and we will look at the timeline and the project area. So starting up on the left hand side we have the event library and that's the area covered here where all of your footage is. In this area here is the viewer and the viewer is showing you the frame that your clip is currently parked on whether it be in the event library or in fact in the project or timeline area. On the right hand side here we have the inspector and currently the inspector is open. This blue button will open and close as it has done here the inspector. So let's have a little look at the event library and how things are laid out there. Now you'll notice in this left hand sidebar you have your various hard disks that are attached to your computer. The exposure triangles here open and close the various folders. Now if you don't have hard disks attached to your computer you will only have this one Macintosh hard disk or whatever the name of your disk is and that is the content that's in your movies folder on that disk. Now in this right hand pane are the clips that you will have in your particular events libraries. Now if we look at the event libraries in this hard disk we can see that there are clips attached to that and these clips are viewed in this right hand pane. Now we can view these clips in two ways. We can view them as a list and they are then inserted by the date that they were filmed. So we have two dates there, date folders, and again the triangles open and close those. If we look down here in this part of the event library, you can see that the blue list view is selected. To the left of that, you have the film strip view, and this will show you thumbnails as opposed to a list. So in this area here now you can see the various thumbnails of the clips. Each of these thumbnails is a full clip and you can view the length of those or the amount of footage by selecting this slider down here. Currently it's on all. So each of these clips only one thumbnail represents the whole clip. If we slide this slider down, then that thumbnail now has all of these scenes in it. So we're just effectively zooming into the clip by dragging that to the left to see one second's worth of video and to the right where all are shown. Up till now, we've been working with events that have already been created. So it would be a good idea to show you how to create a new event. So if we go up here to this hard disk at the 2 terabyte flat and right click, you can see we can create the new event. You can see the shortcut there. Also, you can come to the file menu and create a new event from the file menu. So let's do it here. And when that new event is created, we can type the name. So let's uh, call this tutorial event library and we now have an event and it's asking us do we want to import files or from the camera that we're going to have a look at in the next section also 
what we should be looking at here in this uh, event library area is how to create a new folder. This is the new event we've just created. So let's now put a folder in that new event. And you can see by right clicking, we can select new folder or you can select new folder from the file menu. 